to teach you how to create schematic in uh, orchid okay so i have opened that orchid capture you can see here there's a file new new design so see you can see uh, if you uh, uh, unclick this one you can see page 1 here it is okay you can change the name of the page rename what depend on your schematic okay so my schematic is ac to dc converter and i am going to create this schematic i have taken it from google and i am going to teach you how to create this schematic how to import this schematic in cad star and in cadence also the with the same schematic i will import first i am going to create this schematic and upload this video and in next video i will teach you how to create uh, uh, netlist in cad cad star Uh, cadence one by one i am going to describe you okay so and how to root this one this is ac to dc converter so let's start here will change is ac to dc ac to dc converter okay give okay okay then what is this <coughs> transformer and this is bridge rectifier uh, this is package is 1 and 4007 into 4 same capacitor here it is it should be through all capacitor 1000 microfarad 25 volt and this is uh, regulator where we are getting 12 volt output 230 volt from Uh, ac input to 12 volt dc output we are generating here in this schematic okay so add part okay sometimes uh, this library you will uh, see here it won't be there so you need to add this library by like clicking this add library like alt a is the shortcut of this okay so we have what we need is transformer transformer here it is so add this okay see uh, you no need to make same shape like this also transformer 1 2 3 4 just see the pin numbering 1 2 here it is 3 and 4 This is 230 volt to 113 volt transformer. See, BOM will be there in uh, uh, by client. They will give you BOM bill of material where you can get the part number, exact part number, and you have to create the footprint if it is not there in uh, your library. Okay, so as per the data sheet, you need to create. I am not going to create footprint. I have already told you how to create footprint. I am just showing you the example how to create uh, netlist, how to import it like that. Okay, so. Uh, uh you want to change the pin number here then how you will change select this go to edit part okay i'm just giving you example here i'm not going to exact what uh, it is it depends on the uh, schematic depends on the bom depends on the um, part number uh, bom everything should be there part number is very important then only you you go to you can search in internet and you can uh, check the data sheet and create ac accurate footprint here pin number 1458 but here it is there 1234 so how you will change to 3 and 4 this is 3 double click here four so uh, this is transformer close it update current okay now you add diode 
so transformer added now you add, need to add diode diode here is add place part 1 2 3 4 ok now in schematic one capacitor is there cap place part and one regulator is there LM2904 2904 see this is not matching you need to see little bit this is op-amp just come down this is same regulator but the thing is here one pin is of zero length that is why it is not showing here you cannot see this pin in schematic that we will change it I'll show you how to change so here you can see this diode 1 and uh, 4074 d1 d2 3 3 d4 so d1 d2 make this d3 d4 ok you can change name also so here it was d4 d3 so you can change it d3 d4 uh, ref test as per this you can annotate this also d4 change this name what is part number 1 and 4007 1 N four double zero seven. Give OK. One N four double zero seven. N four double zero seven. You can copy paste also. OK. D four d3 now here input it is coming so take one one two one two pin connector you take con two add mirror uh, mirror horizontally you can make it here of this one from here ac input is coming now you want to add uh, net ok add wire how uh, in keyboard you see W or here replace wire so here AC is coming going to rectifier W make it short no not it is not connecting here it will connect W this uh, two diode and node cathode mirror horizontally connected to anode and cathode here also it is connected to anode mirror horizontally
anode and cathode anode and cathode this two will short W you press in keyboard make it little bit short you can align it as per make it clean okay now these two cathode is going to connect here to this capacitor and to anode is going to connect to this positive positive negative negative okay now select this go to edit part so i to i told you know this is zero pin length go to edit pins make it visible yes short apply okay close this update current check pin numbering 1 2 3 input output ground so add wire connect this ground and this is output so take one test point and connect output tp you can output can be any connector anything you can use it it is like output means you are generating uh 12 volt output okay so this is how this transformer 230 volt to 13 volt this uh, here part number should be there but part number is not there in the schematic 32 230 volt to 13 volt okay and change this one lm2904 dash 12 volt regulator lm 2904 dash 12 volt okay this is 12 volt regulator so and this one ground okay so you take one connector this you leave it control c control v mirror horizontally okay so through this connector connect this 12 volt 
and this ground so add place power vcc okay w connect it 12 volt okay and place power g and d ground okay w okay so from ac here we are generating 12 volt output this is connected to ground this is connected to, to uh, going to 12 volt gen uh, okay so this is the schematic and this i am going to and this i am going to save you right now okay save this one and i'm uh, i'll generate netlist in, uh, in cadence also cat star also import it in cadence and cat star also so one by one i'm going to do that one okay so uh, i hope this video will be helpful for you uh, all for beginners who don't know to create a schematic in orcat so thank you so much for watching this video hope you like it Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks once again.